standing right now. It's actually one of the old parts of Amsterdam. These streets here used to be the old harbor. As you may know, sex work in this country has been a legalized and regulated profession for a few decades. Origins of Amsterdam's red light district all starts around the year 1350. And it all started with one word, sailors. And that was because sailors in medieval times were actually very similar to the type of tourists I just described. All those sailors, they were out at sea for months on end, and then the moment they came to Amsterdam, all they wanted to do was drink, was party, and visit some ladies of the land. Because Amsterdam kept growing, more sailors kept coming into the city. But that area stayed the same size, meaning more and more sailors had to start using the services of the church. And before we knew it, the church could no longer keep up with the demand for the amount of confessions per day. And that is where they said, okay, we're going to change things up. From now on, you no longer need to give us every little single detail of what you did. <laughs> Just give us a quick summary. And then based on what you did, you can now pay us. And then the priest would say, well, sir, all those sins combined to about 25 coins. Thank you very much. You are forgiven for the sins you are about to commit. <laughs> Have a nice time in Amsterdam. And it is with that system that the problems went over, stayed over, and Amsterdam solved the issue. But now what is important to know, the final note, is that that church in medieval times, it was also the most important social institution of the city because taking care of the sick, of the poor, of the elderly, of the orphans of Amsterdam was not done by any government, it was done by the church. Meaning, a lot of that sinful sailor money actually went back into society to the people who needed it the most. And then if we take a look at this entire process, you can see that the city designed a system where at every point of a sailor's stay in Amsterdam, the city was making some money out of them. A sailor goes to the harbor to trade, he makes some import tariffs. The sailor goes to the church to confess, some confession booth. And then he would go to the ladies of the night who paid them for their services. And of course, also those services we taxed. And when the sailors had no more money, they would leave the city. The next one would come in. Amsterdam was off for the rich. So it is the actual building where I spent all my years when I was still a student researching this stuff, learning about the things that I've learned.